well good morning uh, already moving pretty good this morning it's uh 11 47 i've already dropped off both of those cars i brought back one from north carolina one from florida those two are already dropped off this morning um no real issues with that lady met me <coughs> with the tahoe paid me cash which is awesome uh, she was standing there in the driveway waiting for me to unload and in and out of there quick and then in and out of Mannheim very quick dropping off that repo uh, now I'm headed over to Copart and uh, it's a little bit of an odd situation because it's shoot bad place to be pulled over dude bad place to be pulled over um Headed over to Copart because there's a car that needs to be transported from one Copart to another, but it needs to be enclosed, and it may or may not run. We'll see. It's an older car, and I, I talked about this in the last video. I'm not really sure what the situation is. I'm a little skeptical if it'll even be like, it'll even happen. Like, I'm sure there's something, or there could be not. It could not be. I mean, the guy speaks English and has been talking to me the whole time. The, I'm guessing he's the broker. Uh, but it sounds like it should be easy. I don't know what the deal is. But uh, we'll be there in eight minutes. And uh, hopefully it's a smooth process because uh, it, it's a no sale. So you can't make an appointment online. So getting somebody to help me, I don't think they'll pick it up with a forklift, obviously, because that's what it is. It's an extra couple hundred bucks, and uh, for if it goes right, a very minimal amount of work. That's a different truck. There's a Peterbilt that just went by me that has a big con of stone behind it. I don't think the camera angle would have caught it. But it has a lift axle for the front axle. So it's a twin screw, but it has a lift axle in the front. So I'm guessing maybe they haul, do nothing but haul out and then deadhead back wherever they go each time. So they put a lift axle on it to either save on tolls here in PA or just save on wear and tear. All right, well, we made it. Got our winch pulled out here. Really not gonna have to put it all that, all that far in here. Camera's not picking up, it ain't that dark in here. But they're gonna bring it out here and I'm just gonna set it right in front of the trailer and just pull it in real quick and, uh, and be on our way. Get down the road about 23 or so miles, I think it is for extra 325 bucks I know 325 dollars doesn't seem like a lot but that's also what some people are paying to bring a car all the way from Florida back to Maryland and it's not the fact that people are paying that it's the fact that people are accepting those types of loads and uh, I'm hoping this might build a little bit of a little bit of a relationship with this guy because uh, he does seem to ship quite a few vehicles just gonna get down here and engage my winch and uh, wait for him to bring it out to me. Well, we found the vehicle. That's a start. What size tires are these? <laughs> 155, 55, 14s. Little manual transmission. I guess this is the VIN plate that somebody bought for it, but they want to find one on the car. So, interesting. Let's get her, let's get her sucked back in there.
All right. See how she comes now. Well, I got one strap on still on this thing. Um, pointed downhill, I'm waiting for the loader to come over here. He's gonna, he's gonna pull this thing out of here. Guess they, uh, it's got a new sticker. I guess they were uh, expecting it. So let me show you what happened here. So that somebody dragged their trailer across the hood of my truck, semi truck. Oh man, he can't have, can't have anything nice anymore. Busted the light out. Hood is destroyed. Fender is destroyed. I mean, grill's destroyed. So if you remember, I had hit a deer, blew out the headlights. I put those headlights in. Well, that's destroyed. So it's gonna need a hood, a fender, a grill. Um, hood, fender, grill, and another set of lights in it. Not starting 2024 all very good, I can tell you that much. It's like, that's why I have such a hard time sometimes justifying buying a new truck because I wouldn't be able to just go out and find a, a fender or a hood and get this thing looking, you know, presentable and get it back on the road. I can't have that looking like this when I'm, you know, showing up to Meekum with hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of dollars of cars. It's just stressful, but I'm just a little, little upset right now because it really is one thing after another at this point. All right, well, good morning. I'm climbing in the Mega Cab here. That is what we're going to be using today. Since the uh, 7.3 got hit, I um, didn't have time. Our schedules kind of didn't align for the guy that's got some replacement parts for that truck. He's got a hood and a fender. Our schedules just didn't line up this weekend to get them picked up. So I am, excuse me, I am tired today. And what it is, sun's up teeth, like he's got a couple teeth coming in. It's like his last like canines and, and he wakes up in the middle of the night crying and then he falls back asleep on his own but it still wakes wakes us up obviously then it's hard to get back to sleep and then um one of our dogs kept getting me up last night to go out so anyways i'm um, gonna go pick up some truck beds and go pick up a repo and then tomorrow that's what i was thinking tomorrow they're calling for more snow so I'm not going to be able to deliver the truck beds because we try not to get salt on them. So I'll park that trailer with them loaded on and probably take them Wednesday because it's a two stop in Connecticut. Um, real close to each other. So I pretty much got this whole week planned out. I'm not, okay, back up, back up. Back. I've got this whole week of work. Nothing is planned out. <laughs> I, I'm... I'm dodging, dodging a snowstorm on tomorrow for a car I got to pick up, which I'll show you guys. It's going to be enclosed, obviously. It's very high dollar. I don't know why this trailer's been doing this. It's been acting funny, like the brakes are froze up since it hasn't really moved. But, anyways, let's get moving. I'm done yapping. I'll show you what all we're what all we're working with and uh, we'll see where the where the day takes us hopefully we get the rest of the week figured out not just um, not just knowing what we need to get done because I don't know I get kind of anxiety about uh, about scheduling sometimes only because like I always want to be able to tell people exactly when 
I'll be there and when their stuff will be delivered and, and really have like a just set in stone. Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, this is the first stop. Old Mega Slab out here doing a job. These are two different stops in Connecticut that'll get delivered in the next couple days. I don't like shipping these in the snow because it mars up the aluminum. This is all pretty fresh stuff, so. Looks like snow now, but we'll just wait out the snow and uh, get it delivered probably in about two days from now. Well, now we're fully loaded. Two beds. Repo Jaguar. I'm not sure when we're going to get this dropped off. We're going to start heading back towards the house because of the snow. I want to run these in the snow and uh, might swap that to a different trailer. Not sure. It was just here. Decided to fill the trailer and uh, try to make as much money as possible, you know, using all 44 feet that I have on this trailer. Earning our keep today, huh? Got to back into this building somehow. All I'm doing is delivering this single bed, but got all these other delivery trucks in the way. All right. Back to what I was talking about. So, let me throw my gloves down here. The floorboard. So dry out. Um, We're here in Elkton, Maryland. I've never been to this IAA. Picked up a... 2017 Ford Edge. Uh, a customer of mine called. I don't know why these people are calling me. A customer of mine called and said, Hey, I've got a guy up here. It's my van guy that's up in Western Maryland. So I got a guy up here. I need to car hauled out of Elkton IAA. They're dinging him for $50 a day. It's been there for over a week. He can't find anybody to move it. He's like, his money's good. Will you move it for him? I was like, yeah, I can get up there in the next couple days. And um, that was yesterday. I got up here today. Got it out for him. I don't know exactly when I'm going to. It's a run and drive unit. I don't know exactly when I'll deliver it for him. But uh, it'll probably be within the next couple days. He really didn't. He just didn't want to be paying storage on something that he didn't need to. So it took about half an hour to get one car. I don't know if you could see that tow truck that just rolled in. I'd see any other person that's been here. So, um, it's past lunchtime. Maybe they're just that slow. But I've never been to this location before, and it seems to be pretty big. They've got a ton of yellow freight trailers and trucks here, so I don't know if they're, uh, they're the company. IA is the company that's going to be working on selling those out, but... Looks like the place is like at the end of a dead end road. But I am headed home with this now. Tomorrow is going to be a lot of running around. So I need to get home, evaluate which trailer we're going to start with tomorrow. Because we're going to have to use my small little trailer like this. Because I got to go pick up one of my older customers. They're going to Florida, they're already gone. Um, I just got to get to their house and pick up their car get it down the road to Florida whether it's with me or through the brokerage or something that's just kind of one of those things where they just let me handle it and then I have to pick up a car I was supposed to pick up today but we didn't because of the snow they said let's hold off till tomorrow so we'll get that picked up as well so about an hour and 20 minutes or so and I'll be back to the house